Trishan, we discussed previously, you know, that job seekers need to customize their resume when applying for a job. Now they either get a phone call or an email saying that, thank you for applying, now we want to interview you. Usually the first step is a phone interview and then follow up with a face-to-face -face interview or a Zoom interview. In that sense, what tips do you have to job seekers in terms of preparing for those phone interviews or face-to-face -face interviews? Yeah, so I think um, there's some common tips across many of them. Um, so first is make sure you're researching the company, understanding their mission, their values, their initiatives. So that way you can really better answer some of these questions. Um, typically when you're getting a phone interview, it's more of a phone screening. They're gonna ask some of the standard basic interview questions, right? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, a lot of the behavioral uh, based questions and, they, and, and typically those, tend to last about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, but when we're looking at the, the standard face-to-face -face interview or even virtual interview, um, do that research on the company. Also do the research on the person that you're interviewing with. Um, and I say that because if you can find a way to connect with someone, that can make you stand out from everyone else that they're bringing in to interview for this role. So if you can research that person, find some, some connections that you all may have and find a way to work those into the interview, that can always work well for you. Um, so then the next thing is when you're preparing for an interview, you want to build a story bank of answers, right? And, and one of the methods that I said in the previous questions can absolutely help you there. And that's reviewing the job description line by line and, right. you know, stopping at the end of the line and asking, asking yourself, what experience do I have with this, right? And when you're really fleshing out that experience, you want to utilize um, the common behavioral interview techniques to really build out that story, which is STAR, right? Or PARC, which stands for a situation, task, action, result, or park, which is problem, action, results, and knowledge. Um, so essentially, when you're asking yourself, what experience do I have that relates to this, you want to ask yourself, what was the situation? What was I tasked with? What action did I take? And what results did that provide? Right? Or what knowledge did I gain from all of that as well? Those can really help you then develop answers that you can easily use inside of these behavioral interviews. So you're not stumped when someone asks you those questions. Um, I think that's really, really, really important. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. So the other thing is you just want to prepare thoughtful questions for the interviewer. Yeah. Um, do not leave that section blank when people just ask you, well, do you have any questions for us? Yeah, no. I ask you. <laughs> Look, yeah, exactly. You want to ask thoughtful questions. What's on your mind there? Are you trying to figure out things about the company culture and how you may fit in there? Are you trying to figure out what success looks like for someone in the first 90 days, right? Yeah. You really want to try to figure out a couple of, I would say, you know, two to three um, thoughtful questions to ask the interviewer. And then I always say with the interview, you always want to follow up with a thank you email, um, you know, to make sure that you stay top of mind and that they know that you were grateful for them taking the time out to speak with you. Yeah, those are great tips. I highly appreciate that, Tristan. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of preparing for a phone interview, face-to-face -face interview, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for other great question with Tristan.